What's up guys, John here again from my home tech review. Uh, I said earlier in my welcome video that I'll be doing some extra videos uh, coming up uh, about the Asus, uh, sorry, the Aris surfboard uh, SB6190 and the Plume Wi-Fi system. So but today's video is about the Plume Wi-Fi system. So uh, I want to talk about it. It's an amazing product. Um, and it, it performs really, really well. And uh, let's go ahead and get down and uh, dive down and see what we're looking at. All right guys, so here it is, the Plume Wi-Fi system. Now it looks kind of small, that's because uh, it only plugs into your wall, so it goes right into an electrical outlet. And when you set it up for a router system, uh, you actually plug your ethernet cable in here, which connects back to your either your cable modem or maybe uh, a network switch. So from there, what it does is this the one that's plugged in becomes your actual hub. So now this becomes your Wi-Fi router where everything is going to route into. So as you can see here in the box, I actually have the six pieces, which is about $329 currently on uh, plumewifi.com. So, but I'm currently using it on my Wi-Fi system, so I don't have them all down here. But in theory, how this works is when you plug it in and you have the app, which I will show you later, app and you set it all up for your home network it actually learns everything about your different devices that are connected to it what happens is when you're connecting through one of these throughout your house um, you actually uh, there's five different channels in it so these five different channels you can actually send many different devices through them so if you say had all six like I have currently have four in my house because my house isn't that big so I don't need, you know, six devices to run my different equipment. So, but in theory how it works is every single one of these has five different channels. It has three 5 gigahertz and two 2.4 gigahertz. So things that are gonna work on your five gigahertz channels are like your cell phones, your TVs, um, your PlayStations, your Xboxes, and things of that nature. Um, mostly 2.4 gigahertz will be like your, your tablets, your laptops, and your computers. So, Basically, uh, let's say you have three devices that are in your living room and you have two that are in your bedroom and you have, let's say, two more that are in your guest bedroom. Okay, so all those different devices are working on here. So now what's going to happen is it's going to send a signal to the nearest pod and then that pod is going to send it to another pod that's nearby that isn't using a channel. So it sends it through that open channel that nothing, that nothing is getting bogged down on. So when it finds basically um, throughout all of these it finds the least amount of traffic on whatever channel is open and it sends it all the way back to your router which is one of these that's plugged into your cable modem so when it then your router interprets everything and it sends it back through the internet or whatever back to your smart hub or whatever you're using so in a sense if you have all six of these running you've got 30 different channels to send through so you have multiple different channels to send through there's uh, I think I looked on the site and there was about 20 different frequencies that we use here in the US and it finds you know whatever frequency is available and it sends it through one of those five channels so if you're thinking about it that's that's quite a bit of traffic that this that this little pod can handle by itself now another cool feature about it is it intuitively learns how your house operates so everything that is connected to it it learns everything about it and it'll automatically divert uh, based on how much traffic or how much signal strength you're using through that device and it'll divert it through all these and it learns how it operates so um, it works more efficiently. Now with your typical mesh networks that you know I'm calling this, it falls into the category of mesh networks but like I said in my welcome video, it's not quite a me ne mesh network. Mesh networks use one Wi-Fi channel so they don't use five different types of channels. So this can handle a lot of devices all at once. So if you're looking into, like I said, if you're looking into uh, smart home automation, uh, smart home automation uses a lot of different devices. So if you're trying to send, you know, all your devices through one Wi-Fi channel on your mesh network, then it could get bogged down. You could lose signal strength, you know, according to other devices that you're using throughout the house. So if you're using a lot of different devices, it's going to bog down your mesh network and it's not going to work as fast. But that's the advantage of this. This will make sure that you have the best the best channel strength, sorry, excuse me, the best network strength that you can get through here 
because while you're walking through your house, there's no signal degradation because if you have enough of these spread out through your house, you have maximum signal strength no matter what. Now the difference is, is the further you get away from the initial router, wherever it is in your house, the slower your internet speed gets. But through testing, and I'll, I'll show you on the app later as I walk through the house, uh, through testing, you actually, at the beginning here, I run about a 200 megabyte plan. So right at, right next to it, I'm getting about 226 on average. So I get a little bit more than what I paid for, which is awesome. But uh, the furthest point in my house, which is back in my master bedroom, which is the first point away, I get about 80 megabytes. So, you know, things like Netflix and, you know, like Hulu and uh, your cell phones and things like that, that's, that's enough to handle that. So, and this sends it back, and the, and the more it sends it back through the network, and the more that um, it gets closer to the hub, the faster it gets. So it gets back to the internet a lot faster, and you get a, a much higher response time. Uh, I've been using this for about three weeks now since I've ordered my plume system and uh, I've been trying to overload it and I actually I can't I don't have enough devices in the house right now to overload it and it's 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 working fantastically like before when I had just a regular router you know on one corner of the house that you know I was trying to spread out through the house um, I couldn't get signal back in my bedroom um, so I would continuously you know drop my Hulu videos on my TV would continuously drop uh, my signal strength I'd get maybe it would fluctuate between one bar and two bars so you know I was looking to upgrade and I am extremely happy with this product uh, this product is actually fantastic and I would recommend it to anybody especially you know if you have like a family of six like I have who's got devices throughout the house you know tablets and cell phones and video game systems and TVs that are running and computers that are on and laptops and all that stuff uh, everybody's using some kind of device all the time uh, this this can handle anything that I've thrown at it, so um, it's a fantastic product. You know, I I recommend anybody um, looking to get a better Wi-Fi network to get this system. Um, I will be testing future Wi-Fi systems in the future. You know, just giving you honest reviews and how they work, and you know maybe they do work as good as this because I haven't I haven't done you know Orbi and Netgear. Sorry, Netgear is Orbi. <laughs> I haven't done uh, you know like. Google Home or anything like that so uh, in the future I'll be doing reviews on those but so far with this product this is fantastic and it's 100% worth the money so I recommend it to you and uh, anybody looking to get a better mesh network this is it right here oh and uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the Ethernet port um, so anywhere that you are in your house you can actually plug a hard line into here if you you know want to use a hard line for something so say uh, you do have like in your son's room he's got his own playstation and he's a little bit further away from the house and needs a little bit more signal boost uh, what you can do is you can plug an ethernet cable into here plug it into your uh, ps4 or whatever game system that you use and you can use it as a hard line so you won't have to worry about signal strength or anything you just get straight connection to it and uh, that's a pretty cool feature that i thought that uh, was available to it as well so if this won't actually turn into a router you know if you plug into it it'll just send this it'll send the internet speed through the line instead of over the air so I uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys and uh, so but if you thought I did good on my video um, always you know like and subscribe below and uh, I appreciate uh, you guys checking out my channel and you guys have a good day